hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 11 tutorials so now guys in this video we'll be seeing how to create a login and registration system in laravel so guys basically we are just going to install the pre-created package which is provided by the laravel itself so guys let me just show you in the documentation so let's go on the laravel documentation and move at the top and just you can find that in the getting started at starter kit okay so click on it and here you are so here we see that laravel breeze installation laravel breeze and blade okay so we will be going with this breeze and blade part so let's click on this installation first and here you see how you can install the package for this breeze okay so for the login and registration here the image has been shown yep now let us copy this and just get back to your laravel app so let me go to the terminal so here we are already running a terminal so we will just minimize this instead we are opening a new terminal so let's open new terminal here and just run the command so laravel breeze installation is started let me just show you okay perfect so guys here you see our breeze package is completely installed and now let us install the pages which we have to see here like login and register page so for that you can just get below and according to this you have to just install this breeze install now let us copy this and paste here so here after this guys you can just give space and type blade so it will not ask for option but i just want to show you how it works so let us give install and here it is asking for like which breeze stack would you like to install so i will be choosing this blade with appline part so you have to type that blade here okay so b l a d e blade and hit enter cool and here would you like dark mode yes or no i will just give no and testing framework so we will select with php unit itself so which is going to be a 0 and 1 so here i will give 1 okay and hit enter cool installing and building the node dependencies okay so you don't have to worry it will just create all the node modules and everything and just set up for you and give it okay so now you don't have to run anything guys just run this command i mean just serve the application and that's it you don't have to do all this npm install or npm run dev because it is already set up here why because we have chosen with the blade option okay yep and now let us get back and let me just show you here now refresh this perfect so here you see login and registration page so now let me just click here login cool so you see that login page guys now let me get back and click on register page you have the register page too so if you have already registered and here you have forgot password everything works fine guys okay so now guys if you want to register so for that you have to create your database and connect with your laravel application so guys how do we do that so let me just show you okay so first step guys just go to your php my admin or any server you are using and i have created a laravel 11 database here so i'm just going to click on it and here we are okay so guys let's get back to our editor and let me minimize this so okay so first step go to your env file and you'll be finding the database connections here okay so it's commented let me uncomment it and here database name laravel and here instead of sql light so i will be using my sql okay and that's it guys with the setup so once you save your env file it is going to be restarted the server okay so it restarts the server here for the laravel now we are closing the env file and let's migrate the databases tables into our database okay so here inside this database we'll be migrating all these three tables so for that just hint the command like php artisan migrate now hit enter so here all the tables are migrated whatever present inside your migrations folder 
So now get back and refresh your database. Perfect. So here you see all the tables are migrated into your Laravel 11 database. Cool. So now guys you can get back, go on the register page and if you register, you will store your record inside this user table. So let me just show you with one simple record like with and with at gmail.com password 1234567812345678 1234567, and click on register perfect so you have registered and you are on the dashboard cool so now guys you can just find those records in your user table let me just refresh the user table and here you go so here your uh, registered user record and now you can just log out and log in again with the same credentials whatever you have registered so let me just enter my email id with at gmail.com and password 123456 let's click on login and here you go cool okay so guys we have logged in so guys let us just see with the profile also so let's click on this profile and here you see your basic uh, profile information like name and email id so you can save this and also update the password using current new password confirm password and if you want to delete this account you can just click and delete this account too okay and guys let me just also show you the file structure let me just uh, show you that if you go in the routes you will find an auth.php about your complete login register email verification change password and uh, logout part okay so completely it's given here in the separate auth.php and this file will be included in your web.php okay so web routes so as you see here that it's included okay and also you can see the controller parts like here you see profile controller and for your auth means you will be a separate register login authentication session controllers okay so you can find that basically in the app http controller okay so here you see a auth folder inside that all the controllers given and directly in the main folder itself controller you find your profile controller okay and guys you see that many things are missing from this folder because this is a laravel 11 new features uh, something like you won't find your middleware here and the kernel.php files so we'll be seeing in further videos okay so in detail about this laravel application so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video and let's continue in the next video with the new topic of laravel 11 so in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share